In math today, you will be explaining how you know how many numbers there are in the objects in the picture. So let's do a quick warm up. Let's read our DLL first, and then um, we'll start writing and counting and explaining. Our daily learning objective, I'll go first. Today I will use math to explain what I know about counting. This is a long one, so let's break it down. Go ahead and repeat. Today I will use math to explain what I know about counting. Explain means giving details of how you know something. And counting, when we count the dots or the birds or the fruit. And um, that's just how we've been counting lately. Let's do a quick warm up of counting how many objects we have and writing the number. In your book today, you will be counting and writing, counting and writing. So let's do a quick warm up and then we'll go into explaining. How many are here? Nothing. Zero. Zero is around. Up. Zero. I know there's zero there because there's nothing there and the number for nothing is zero. How many are here? Let's count. One. How do I know there's one? Because I used my finger and I pointed to each dot and there's only one. One. Straight line down. And when you're done, that's the way you make a one. Let's go to the next one. Let's count them. One, two. How many dots are there? Two. The number of how many there are is the last one that you count. One, two dots. How do I know there are two dots? Because I used my finger and I pointed them. I also knew it was two dots because I've seen the side of a dice before and I just knew that's two. Two right away. That's the pattern it is and I could count it. Two. Candy cane foot. Let's go to the next one. Three. I know it's three because I can look at it and I already know. But if I'm not sure, how can I tell how many dots are there? I can count them. One, two, three. Three is around the tree, around the tree. That's the way you make a three. I could use my fingers too to help me. I could say one, two, three. How many fingers do I have up? One, two, three. Let's go to the next one. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four. How many dots are there? Four. How do I know? Because I pointed to each dot and I counted them and the last one I counted was the amount of dots on the piece of paper. One, two, three, four. Four is down, over, down some more. That's the way you make a four. Let's go to this next one. I have a bunch of dots on there and they're a different pattern, so I better count them to make sure I know what number that is. One, two, three, four, five. I know there's five dots because I touched every dot. I counted each one. And the last one that I said is the number of the amount of dots. Let's count one more time. One, two, three, four, five. When I write five, short neck, belly fat, Mr. Five wears a hat. Good, let's count our numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. In your workbook today, it shows an example of counting and the little boy says, how can I explain? because he sees birds on the branch and he uses his little counters to match how many birds are on the branch. So he explained it by counting one, two, three. That's what we did. Then on the branch, he said there's one, two, three birds and he explained it by writing. So you can explain it by counting them out loud. You can explain it with writing the number and that's how we're using math to explain how we're counting um, today. Today's will be just kind of like a review what we've done after you've explained it to whoever is helping you. 
count the birds, write the number, count the birds, write the number. Over here, you're counting leaves and writing a number. You're explaining how you know that that's the number. You can say, I pointed to each leaf and I counted them. That's why I know there's five here. One, two, three, four, five. You could mark them off. One, two, three, four, five. So you know that you didn't miss any. And then write your number. In the next page, the instructions are at the bottom. Read the problem. So you're going to follow the instructions on how to do this one. After that, it's very important. Families or whoever's helping their student today, listen very carefully. After you do that 1.10 lesson from pages 41, 42, 43, and 44, you will be giving an assessment to your student. After you skip these pages, don't use these pages. We are going to use them a different day, so please don't write on them. We're going to use them for when we split up into different groups, so don't write on those pages. I need you to skip to page 51. It says, Topic 1, Assessment Practice. Whoever's helping your child, you will read the prompts at the bottom and let your child answer on their own. Don't give them help. When you're done with this, you're going to take a picture of every page, 51, 52, 53, and 54, and you'll send it to me. I want to know what your child knows. So if you help them, then I won't get an honest result. And I'm going to use these results to figure out how I can help your child at home with these skills. And when we start here pretty soon, we're going to have live math lessons, and we're going to be focusing on the skills that they're struggling with. Or, um, or the ones that they're not struggling with, we're going to move on to a new more um, in-depth part of that skill. For example, number one, it says, have students mark the best answer. They can pick their pencil or a color pencil and they can bubble in the answer. Just like, a, just like a college test or high school test, they don't need to circle the whole answer, they can just bubble it in. If they want to circle it, that's fine. I just need to be able to see their answer. So if the first one, it says, number one, which shows three flowers? Tell your child, you can give them some guidance. Tell them, this one here, you can cover up, you have to count how many. The question wants you to find the row that has three flowers. So how many are there? And they can count one. So is that three? No. So just help them. So you can cover each one, and until you, when you find the one that has three, Go ahead and color it in. So on this one, the next one it says, how many counters are there? They have to count the counters and find the number. Count the counters, find the number. One, two, three, four. They need to find the number four, bubble it in or circle it. These ones are pretty simple. Go to the next page. The instructions are at the bottom. So this one down here, I want to explain number seven. Count the number of dots then draw counters in the box to show the same number of dots. So if I count, have your child count the dots. One, two, three, four. Ask them how many dots are there? Four. Draw four dots then. On this side, they're counting and writing the numbers. Counting, write the numbers. Count, write, count, write. We're not concerned if their numbers are perfect. We're not concerned if they're touching the sky in the bottom right now. They've been practicing that, and they will become expert letter writers. But today we're not worried about how it looks. Even if it's small, that's okay. We just want to know that they can count and identify and write the numbers in the blank spots. And then there's uh, one more page to 54. When you get to 54, stop. Try not to help your child along. Try not to give them like a funny face, like, mm, look again. Try not to say that to them because the more honest the child's answers are, the better me and my team can help your child at home. So practice counting their numbers, watch the warm-up videos, and then do both assignments. And now it's your turn.